Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. It's about five in the morning and folks are just starting to wake up. Thought I'd show kind of a different angle than we're used to. I think that's Simon. He went out the front door to go do something. Anyway, we've got a few things to get done today. Someone else is waking up there. Yeah, let's turn... Actually, before I do that, I discovered something. We have an attic. Look at that! <laughs> There's the uh, stove flue and the fireplace chimneys. And, man, I wish we could access this space. This is good storage up here. You have to build storage spaces down there outside today because we're, we're full here. We just need a staircase. Anyway, let's pop these all back on again and start our day. We are running. I see we are... We've got insufficient storage space for these guys. Because these shelves are all full. And is there anything else, any place else I want to designate that for? You are shelf life cloth. Okay. Oh, this is what? Cotton versus cloth? What are you? No, you're considered cloth. So why did it say insufficient storage space for this when there's empty space here? Okay, what am I missing? Yeah, we got. Maybe we don't have enough. Meaning, there's room for 300 and we have 310. Maybe it's something like that. Not sure. But I thought maybe we'd put one more of these out. Uh, boy, it's been a long time since I built one of those. Camp, right? Yeah, another shelter. Just stick it out over here with the other ones, I think. Hmm, before we do that. We need to think about where we're going to put the second one of these. I wanted it there because there's a great space right there, but apparently that wasn't right. So I think it needs to be in the compound. There's a, a possibility it's going to be attacked. And we've got feathers rotting away. I didn't know we still had feathers. Okay, well, we just made space. Maybe? Eh, not quite. It's freaking out on all of them. Huh. Anyway, um, I think this falls way too much to build a platform under it. Do I actually have to have that on a platform? Just out of curiosity. Would it? No, it does. Too close to antenna. Too close to antenna. So it could just sit right out here if we wanted to. Okay. So it doesn't have to be on a platform. We could do something like that. I like it on the platform. It, it makes it look a little more official, but it does fit over here. Okay. Um, let's do that again. Copy. So we're too close, and we don't fit in this area. We uneven terrain and obstructed. So we could sit it out in here. No. Yeah. Looks like this is the spot that we have left. So, right in between the poles. Okay. I think we can pull that off. Um, do that again. How far this way can I go? So, we were sitting right there. If we come further down, so as far as we want, the maximum. And that's just because we're making contact. So the whole area is available. Okay. Well, there goes kind of the rest of our little purple flower area that was originally one of these areas. What these guys call the skin bark field. But it's kind of nice having that left behind. But yeah, I think that kind of fits the, uh, the area here with all the industrial look to it. So let's do that. Housing, floor, and... Uh, Planks, I think, work really well. Extra spaces between. Do we put it here? I think we put it here. So let's go from there. 5x5, five five, like that. Uh, yeah, that gives plenty of room to walk around in all directions. We'll do that. And stairs, probably off of this area. Yeah, I gotta go find them now. It gave it to me, and... It was, it was very polite in that sense, and I just threw it away. There we go. Centered. 
up against this into there. I think right there. All right, so you're going to go there. There's Prince walking about. Ah, uh, Prince. I had thought about putting a a covered area right here for the uh, um, slop. What do you call it? A animal feeder. Oh, you're two spaces long, aren't you? I wonder if you'll even fit. Let's grab one just to try to... Where are you at? Oh, you're already selected, so copy. Would you go... No, you're going to take up the whole space. I have to go out over here to do it. Hmm. Well, I guess we just do something like that. I was wanting to get it under a roof, but I guess that'll work. Okay. We'll do... Actually, take you away. Cancel. Let's move you. Can we move you when you're full? Um... No, we're going to have to empty it in order to do it. But I'll move it. They'll eventually figure it out. Right there. Okay. It's it's in the uh, it's in the queue. All right. So what is happening here? We are tearing this whole area down. We're transporting these to tear them down. I don't think we even need the table or the bed or anything else anymore. Not really. Um. I can deconstruct you or I can move you. If we were to get another person, just you know. On a whim, some expedition we took, where would that person best go? Everybody's got two things in their room. Wardrobes and desks and stuff, except for Rita. So I guess that one goes here. Yeah, I think so. Back up bed. Our guest bed will be in Rita's room. So that one gets moved there. Anything else here that has to be saved? Let's set you up with a keep empty... And everything else, I think, can just be torn down. So, get up here. Do that. And bed. Wooden chairs. Deconstruct. Stick shelters. Deconstruct. Stockpiles. Keep empty. Okay. Uh, wooden storage shelf. Deconstruct. Large table. Deconstruct. Okay. We'll tear that area down. It'll be done. We'll get the new uh, brick fencing in, so that's another project to do. And I'm here in the wind. Must be in the afternoon already. Yeah, four in the afternoon. Otherwise, I'm seeing... I see you are picking up buttermelons in order to... Where'd they come from? Must have just harvested this one. Huh. In order to go make something. Okay. Transporting logs. Where is Edmund? Eating. Carter. On his way to eating. <laughs> we made fruitcake. I'm getting myself some of that. Paulette is cooking. Simon is off. Oh, he's loading up the new uh, uh, electric poles. Okay. Edmund Kana, you are tailoring shirts. And Umiar, who is no longer researching, is filling up all the furnaces and getting these guys going. Great, this has already been loaded up with wood, so it's just waiting for an Edmund to show up and tap that back together again. Why are we still waiting for these two? Is there any reason why they can't get to them? Oh, and there was a reason why I didn't put the staircase on there. Of course, the staircase is the first thing they build. <laughs> well, we'll leave that staircase on then. They went to all that effort. I don't want to disappoint them. All right, so Carter is deconstructing a chair. Carter, can you build these just to prove to me why it won't build? I just... Yeah, okay. Otherwise, anybody out and about... No one's gone running off long distance. Okay. Simon is still transporting. I saw him there. There he is. Oh, he went and got some of these. What do they call the beef berries? Okay. So we have stuff on the ground still. We no longer have insufficient storage space. So the feathers were stored in the same area, I believe. Yeah, I think they were... Well, I thought they were there. Could have been here, too. But so far, I think we're okay. Um, 
I wasn't going to build another one of these because I didn't know where we were going to put this and if it needed to be here instead. So we could throw together another one of these temporary light structures just to be ready for next time that this happened. Do that and shelving, wooden, let's see, best for something like that I guess is like this and copy like this. Okay. Don't know what goes on it, and unfortunately I can't prioritize it to say go to all the inside ones first. New resource, Buzz Shroom. So we've harvested our first one, right? Petting Prince. So there's our first Buzz Shrooms. So now that we have them, can we do this research? Oh, that's what that noise was. That didgeridoo. Okay, research desk. We There was the one last thing to do right there. Stimulants. Okay, so stimulants, is there anything else here that really needs to be done? I don't think so. Um, oh, two things just hit me. One, turn that on. And Simon, why don't you do it while you're walking by? And two, I forgot to check the temperature here last time. We turned this guy on, and I was going to go back and check it. And we are back to the 17, 16, 15 range. So we're doing okay, though this isn't the hot part of the day. So if I think of it, we'll check it again tomorrow at, in the early afternoon see what we've got. You are still being harvested. You are a cut order, so we shouldn't get that. You are still 51%. Okay. What am I hearing? Oh, tearing things apart still. So, Carter, you got that done. You did. So it's time to bring... Oh, we're almost there. Need power cell, need nine more of the metal alloys. Okay. Metal alloys are still at zero, but we're still making them here. We are good. And ore is still 280, so I think we're going to have enough to, to do everything. Good, good, good. Power wise, we're maxed out or real close. Uh, nighttime, negative 37. And the solar flare finally ended. Okay, good. So you guys are back to making 20 apiece. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And you are 28 out of 40. So their average is still a little better than a solar panel. Last time I checked it was... I think it was like 27 when I peeked in there last time. What else is going on? That was a quick day. In Soul to Rita's cooking. Oh, we are. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's why nobody likes each other. Moving wooden skin bark bed, Edmund. So, how are we down here? Pretty much emptied out. That's the very last thing to do. Then we just got to pick all the stuff up and put it away. That would be more of a Simon job. So, Edmund's going to wake up Rita. That's why she doesn't care for him too much. How are we doing there, Rita? Um, like Simon some, Edmund doesn't care for Rita at all. That's why he had no problem with that. Aggressive animals. Aggressive animals. So that's an attack. That's not, uh, um, or is it? Think about that. It's been so long since we had the, uh, just the random event of animals dropping into, I guess they're starving animals. Is that what it was? think so. Aggressive animals are out over here, and we've got a land invasion this time. Cool! Now we finally get to test our defenses. Now you guys are aggressive. Are you hanging, or are you going to go find yourself an olfin to devour? Now you're hanging around over here. These guys are slow crawlers, so they're, they're okay. Let's see, we're at 1 in the morning. If this hit at midnight, it'll be 6 in the morning, but Again, slow crawlers, unless they are actually uh, aggroed by shooting them. So we should have time to get everybody to their positions. What are their positions? This guy just got built. He's on circuit three, circuit three, circuit three. This guy on is circuit three, okay. This guy is also circuit three. And lights, circuit three. Light circuit three. Okay, that all got programmed correctly. So as soon as we get any motion out of this guy, 
and this time they're coming from here. So we needed to figure out what to do when they didn't come from here. Could use another one of those. Copy probably in this area to track anybody coming in from down the mountain at us and turn on our defenses. So you would sit actually in here. Back up a little bit, getting a little crowded. Um, I don't know. Maybe right here. We get we can draw from power right there. Though I'm thinking I'd like to put it up on a platform. Get up in the air a little bit. Will it be attacked by? The, um. Yeah, not the scissor hands. It's the uh, yeah the other ones that shoot with their tails. Here or further up in the air. I don't know. I want it out here, but I can't do that. Hmm. Well, we'll put it right there for now until we until we figure it out. Anyway, you will it doesn't tell me, but was I I was a copy of this guy, right? Let's make sure of that. You cancel. You copy. And that should give us all the same programming as the other one. Okay. So next time something spawns, we've had them I think whoa, where's my mouse? Once before we had them uh um, spawn... I guess it was over here. Most things spawn from out here somewhere. Usually up in this area or down in here. Which then works fine for a sensor only in this corner. I think we've had them spawn up here before too. Which would come down like that and be undetected until they are just getting into the gauntlet there. Okay, Stalled enough. Let's get ready for this attack. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely alien. <laughs> Would you like one of those as a pet? Apparently you can. I'll pass. Shooting star. Let's preemptively set everybody up to grab armor on their way out of bed this morning. Um, you need pants, so let's send you over to leggings. You've got all three, you don't have a helm. Does that, that, that must exist somewhere. Coat. There we go. Not seeing it there. Ah, uh, there you are. Okay, you grab that. You are needing... What? Boots, I guess. Right there. Simon, you're looking pretty good. Edmund could use the uppers. So, here. Vest. Anna could use boots. I don't know what... And, and a shirt. And Umiar, boots and a shirt and a helmet. I don't know what the quantities are. I don't want them both grabbing the same one. Yeah, there's only one of those in there. And here, there are... There's only one boots, but there's extra leggings and extra helmet. And... All we have is the helmet. Okay, so Umiar, you're going to grab the extra helmet when you wake up. So Edmund's first one up. I'm curious to see if they'll all wake up on their own before I have to manually get them up, which then it takes away the orders I just placed on them. But I have a feeling our defenses will handle all this without us even being there. So I think I'll let them one by one make their way to the uh, to the gauntlet as they get up, get their their needs met, or at least get their armor on. So, Edmund is available. What is he going to do next? Which is kind of important. I want him heading out to go do something down by the uh, by our guests. <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Paulette's waking up. Connor's waking up. Handling a fireplace. And sitting. Equipping. Cooking. 
Fireplace means, oh, we're just putting some fire or some sticks in. Harvesting. So Rita's got an issue here. Rita, what can you be doing instead? Um, why don't you make some coffee? Can't do it there. You can make a butter pill and pie. Why don't you go do that? Let's keep everybody inside right now. Five o'clock, six o'clock. That should be starting any time now. Khan is handling a furnace. And Umar is equipping. So I guess it was 1 a.m. Which means it's going to hit at 7. All right. Carter's equipping. Simon's the last one. And Edmund, you get to be the first one drafted. Because you refuse to hang around the house. You're going to be over here guarding the front of the flamethrowers. Who else is trying to escape? Ah, we just got started. Okay. So, researching, eating. Let's just go one by one. Carter, you are done. So, let's get you in here. Draft and place you over here protecting the front of these guys. Um, Paulette is actually eating right now. And she is indifferent to combat anyway. So, what are you doing? You're eating that? Where are you? You just picked it up. No, no, you come on out and join us. You've got the, uh, the pulse rifle. So draft you and put you over here. Rita, you just started cooking. I'm going to leave you alone because you won't be able to finish that again. It's going to sit on the shelf as an unfinished item until it is rotted away. Unless I remember to manually have you go back to that. Sleeping, it's time for... Now, Simon, you just go for it. Edmund, you're already on your way. Kana, you are going to work. So let's get you in here. You've got a pistol? You've got a pistol. We don't have any more rifles available, do we? That I've kind of forgotten all about. No. And no. Okay. <clears throat> pistol, you're probably going to do the most right there. So, Kana, draft, drop you into space number two. Umayar, you've got long range. You've got actually some skill, too. You are researching. So come on down and be space number three aiming for right there. These guys, missiles, let's send you target area of uh, right over in there. We'll do that. So these guys aim on their own. Nothing else to even think about, right? I think we're good, except this guy is set up on circuit three. So though he's only going to hit where I send him to, he's only going to turn on when they're in this range. So having him shoot over here until this guy is built means he will never start shooting until they've already gone past. So yeah, i got to keep something like that in mind. You guys are on your way. Was there anything else that I didn't realize was there? It's just the two different ones. Babies and, and, and more mature ones. Okay, everyone's heading in. <clears throat> Rita is done cooking. She's harvesting now. So Rita, draft. Come on in and grab space number three here. And we had a Simon left, right? Simon's up and about. Okay. So Simon, draft. Come on in to the center. And I think that is everyone. Except for Prince. Now Prince, we set him to be trained. He has not had any training done yet, though. I think Rita hasn't... Hmm. Rita's the best one. <clears throat> Activities. Rita. <clears throat> yeah. That's because harvesting is always going to be ahead of it. When he hits level 5, I can tell him to go here. And right click. From what I understand. But he is staying within the bounds of our compound. So that should be fine. These guys aren't interested in busting through, so long as there is an opening to come in. Okay, and yeah, they do crawl really slow, though I think Carter and Rita are going to get some range and start uh, attacking them here. Whether or not that causes them to then bust through at the first point they're attacked, that, that would be interesting to see. Alright, speed you guys up a little bit since you crawl so slow. There we go. Down. 
And we're good. They're not trying to go through the fences. Okay. Oh ho ho! Yeah, this is a good defensive structure. This is working. Alright, so they're stopping there. Taking they're not they're not attacking the fence. Good, we're hitting traps. We've got a carrion bird, a pancoth, already licking its lips, if birds can do that, and waiting for dinner. <laughs> and we've never even made it to the gauntlet yet. Now you are going right in and attacking the wall. Interesting. Hmm. So that is a downside to being shot from this direction. Otherwise they'd make their way around. Yeah, if we had a barrier here... Maybe they wouldn't try shooting behind, and we could then engage the flamethrower. Hmm. Boom. Finally triggered the uh, the missiles. Another one coming. No. And that is it. All right. So how do we keep them from being the from attacking these walls over here? My thought was something taller. Um, defenses, fortifications, this guy. Would... I don't think that's going to do the job, though. I don't think so. Um, they're not going to do much. they got to go through two separate fences to get to it. And they'll be shot the whole time they're doing it. So it's probably not worth worrying about. So I can see a need to go ahead and get this fence turned to brick too. Or maybe eventually even concrete. But we're good. Everything just turned off. And you guys, survivors, undraft. Off you go. Carter and... Hmm. Carter went... Oh, because I didn't set any butchers. If I were to butcher you guys... And butcher you guys... <coughs> Oh, they're over here, too. Let's do that. So, you guys, butcher. You guys, butcher. Now, did I miss anybody? Scissor hand and hatchlings? No. So, if I told Carter to draft an undraft, Rita to draft an undraft, and Edmund to draft an undraft, we'll get butchering orders automatically. Okay. And I could tell a few of them just to go do that. Only are you need to eat. You are researching. Why don't you go eat? You like bread. Kana, you too. What do you like? You like veggie stew. Uh, veggie soup. Veggie soup. Why don't you go and do that? You are doing what right now before I tell you? You're going to go work on something. So veggie soup. And you're fine. You're butchering. Simon is transporting and he's going to be hungry. Got any meat? Uh, nope, just meat soup. You go do that. Rita is harvesting. Why don't you go and get yourself some meat pie? Yeah, don't have any. So porridge will have to do. Paulette, same thing. Everyone is right at that point of being really hungry. So you really enjoy a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's over here? Anything? No. Why don't you, why don't you grab a fruit cake? Your happiness is quite low. And Carter, you're also hungry. So when you're done butchering, see if there's any more bread in there. There is not. So you also grab a fruit cake. Okay, you guys do that. And then Umayar, when you're done, come on out here and grab a whole bunch of these guys. Those and those. And then Kana. You as well. Two of those, and two of those, and that's enough. And who else? Simon, when you're done, come grab... You're already here. No, you're not. Grab that one. What's left? These guys. Those guys. Okay, that should give everyone plenty of things to do. Rita must be harvesting before she's going to go eat. Okay. So, you guys do that, and what other trouble can we get ourselves into? Anything new move into the area? 
Ooh, we have a bunch of these to go harvest if we want. Um, what is actually harvestable? Because ours are not even close, are they? Yeah, there's one there. And, yeah. So we could have Rita go and harvest a load of these. So if I double-clicked, that does bring them all up. Harvest. Ooh, got a whole bunch. So she can deal with that. Simon can bring it in, if whatever she can't. Uh, still have some... Nope, that's not ore. Okay. Over here, never got to those. Otherwise, let's see. We also needed... While well, I'm thinking of it, these guys are closer, aren't they? Is to set this guy for brick. Grab... Almost got all the fence there. Let's rotate a little. Um... You know, let's grab all of the fencing right through there. Right there. So, fence... Wood fence. Reconstruct you to brick. Okay. That's all set. This whole area is protected. Um... I can see it maybe an advantage of making this row of fences brick as well. So they don't cut the corner. I don't think they'd want to... Well, I could see them maybe trying to punch through here to get to that, but... Probably not until it actually hits them and aggros them. I don't think they'll do it to protect one of their their uh, buglings. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably fine. Though the back side of this, I can see being a problem. Let's grab all these fences and get them renovated as well. Reconstruct you. Brick must no longer be available. That's interesting. Oh, because there's brick in there? Maybe that's it. Let's find out. If I were to do everything but these guys... No. We must be out of brick. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. Edmund is transporting 269 bug meat. Wow. We have shelves for all that? We have the fridge. Okay, so... How are you doing, for instance? Yeah, we have a lot of space just in that walk-in there. Okay. Or not walk in, but in that that refrigerator. All right, so Omiar is petting Prince, or at least becking him over there, and lots of building to do. No longer worrying or waiting about um, a, the next pending bug attack. So we could do an expedition, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. We got stuff to get done here, and I don't think I mentioned it. I meant to, but I don't think I did. There is an update coming in this game on June 29. They're adding a jungle biome. And along with that, some new game mechanics, some new diseases, some new plants, maybe some foods. Um, don't know if there'll be new animals or not. Yeah, there will be. I think with the new biome. I'm not sure. You can go in and read about it. I don't know to what extent it will affect existing maps and other biomes if those new mechanics for that biome will bleed over into these or just what so we might have a reason to send Rita up several times to go and discover new plants for us so until then let's leave them all here let Rita do as much catching up as she can it's windy out yeah, I can hear that roaring in the background let Edmund who and Carter are other potential expeditioners get caught up with all of their stuff. Um, in this case, it is butchering, I believe. I know Carter defaults to that. Does Edmund default to that? Well, he's eating right now. So once he's done eating, we'll see uh, if he goes back to butchering. I think he does. I think both of them are set to hunting first. And Rita is capable of it, but I don't think she defaults to hunting. She defaults to harvesting. And then ranching for Prince. But there's a lot of harvesting to do. This one, you been out here yet? No, I think it's a distance thing. So she'll get to that one eventually, but she's going to do all the local harvesting first. So that's a tomorrow thing, or next episode. All right, so we got a lot of the power poles built. A lot of wind. Just like before. Makes me feel like there's a storm rolling in for later. And, yep, Edmund is... Getting the last of the butchering done here. I'm sure Carter will join him in a bit. Though he... Oh, there he goes. Simon is transporting some more... Ooh. Some more alloy. 
which means this guy... No, we need a power cell, that's right. So he won't be ready for a while. Yeah, 9 of that 19 goes there. The other 10 probably goes here, right? Yep, that's why he brought 19. Like he's going to hit that first. Okay, and that's all that's needed. We already have the CPU core. How are we doing on CPU cores? Three. We do have a reason to send Rita back out. Okay, so that expedition, unless something else pops up like a tachyon source, will be the first one back there to that supercomputer ship of some wreck of some kind. Um, what are you guys? You are almost ready to harvest grain grass, which is left over. I got rid of this field. I wonder if we can still we can still harvest it. Okay. It says harvest 86%, but growth 100%. What does that mean? I don't know. But let's set that up to harvest just to get it in the list. We're just going to take care of this field, then she's going to be done. Edmund and Carter are finishing up the last of the bug meats. Okay, good. So, don't know if we even fed the local Pankoff uh, population. I just saw one fly away. Um, transporting, transporting. And next episode, we'll get more of this stuff built. Give Simon time to haul more of the supplies over. And Umiar, time to bake more bricks. Uh, 133 in stock. Otherwise, Simon is playing the didgeridoo. Kana is drinking. Edmund is repairing a fence. Okay, he's going to go work on that brick fence. Umiar is really enjoying those mushrooms. <laughs> he's going to get back to, to, to researching. So next time we'll get to see what stimulants are all about and, and where they're made. I don't know if that's a cooking thing or if that's a crafting thing. Uh, more poo rotted away. We set all that poo up out there and made it available for Rita to grab to go and, and fertilize these fields. But just like I suspected long ago, there there's too much to do to be out there gathering poo and doing the fertilizing. So I didn't think they would default to that. Unless there's a setting I need to change. But it'll get here eventually. By the time we get all the alloy done, we'll, we'll finally start to start making... Uh, or get to start making uh, power cells. Uh, transporting, repairing the fence still. Prince went to sleep. He is... Oh, where do I want to be? Health? No, I want happiness. Looking for your, your food level. Never really says your food level, does it? Now, training level. Somebody's giggling. Who's giggling over here? I don't know. I was hearing giggling noises. Someone's happy. Still giggling. I don't know. But Carter and Paulette, is that, is that the noise when you guys get happier and like each other more? Apparently not. <laughs> hmm. Eating. Yeah, I think we're getting close to the end of our day. So we'll just kind of watch everything wrap up. There we go. Those take the roof off. You can see a Paulette in there. There's Umiar. Paulette grabs something to eat. Gonna join them. Yeah, they're all looking the same in this armor, aren't they? Hmm. Almost think I like it better with the helmets off. Except we'll get a flying bug attack and they all get hit in the head with acid. Yeah. Oh well. They're, they're wrapping it up, enjoying their spacious bedrooms. Do you still have one even with the uh, extra bed? It doesn't do something to us, does it? Well fed. Slept in a comfy bed. But not a spacious bedroom anymore. Whereas you get it immediately. Yeah. Where is that? I don't see the word space. There it is. Slept in a spacious bedroom. What was that? Shooting star. And slept in a comfy bed. So Rita no longer gets it because we put the spare bed in here. Aha. Shooting star meteor with a long trail. 
blazed in the sky and fell not too far from camp. It could be a small piece of debris or a genuine meteorite. Okay, so let's keep that in mind for next time. I'll keep that in my face for when I save it. Maybe that'll help me to remember. So, calling this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you later. Bye-bye.